Need for Speed Unbound, it's here. We're finally playing it. Welcome to the first episode of the Let's Play here. So, we haven't had a new Need for Speed game in, like, what, almost three years now? So, it's finally nice to have the new refreshed version. I'm really excited. Need for Speed Unbound. I'm very curious to see how it's going to be with the wheel because Need for Speed is definitely not, like, your, like, Forza or maybe even, like, a Seto Corsa where it's, like, more of actual driving with physics. But this is going to be interesting. So, we can select our character. Let's go for this guy. So, we can pick a Junker to restore, which... I think it's a little bit interesting because none of these cars look like junkers to me. I mean, come on, we have a Lamborghini. I know with Need for Speed, they want it to be like, all right, you start from the bottom and then you build to the top. But when you start with the Lamborghini, that's a little interesting. Lamborghini or the Nissan. I don't really want to go with that one. I don't really care for the Charger, to be honest. But let's just go for the Sylvia. So the Sylvia is going to be more for drift. This one's going to be more for grip. I mean, let's see. So top speed, 195. Okay, so they're actually pretty similar. This one's just a little bit slower. I'm just going to go for the Sylvia. I think it looks cool. I think we'll have fun with it. We'll be able to customize it. And I want to really see how it is with the wheel because I think... Oh, I don't... What? Okay. Oh, wait. This handling is a lot different than previous Need for Speed games. There's a little... Because I feel like in previous Need for Speed games, the with the steering wheel control, it was just like... Okay, so turn and apply brake. There we go. I feel like in the previous games, it just felt... Oh, wait, this has a little bit... Oh, this is interesting. So in the previous games, it was very, like, linear. Like, you would turn the wheel, and it would just be... It would just turn. I don't know how to explain it. There was, like, no force feedback, it felt like. It was just linear. There was nothing to it. But here, we've got... It feels like a little bit more... I can feel the understeer more in it. And then if I want to kick it out... I mean, I'll probably apply the brake, and it'll kick out. Interesting. I really like the effects with the taillight. Okay, you can really feel the understeer. That is so interesting because you could not feel that in previous games. I feel like the car would just turn and it really makes me feel like, oh, there we go, nitrous. So it seems like we've got two nitrous levels in this game now. So versus just having one in previous games. So I'm gonna have to get used to this. I don't find the handbrake. Oh, that's the horn. Okay. Which one's the handbrake? Oh, there we go. Apply that. Okay, now we're spinning out. Pretty cool effects. I actually like it more than I thought I would because from like the, the preview videos, it was like kind of, I don't, I don't want to say like cheesy looking, but it just looked a little, yeah, just cheesy, I guess. Just playing the game, it's like, would I really want that? But it seems pretty cool. I really like the taillight effect. It makes the car look a little bit like it's going faster. Okay, so I'm starting to learn the physics. You just literally have to turn the wheel more. So I'm used to like playing Forza. Okay, there we go. I just have to turn the wheel more. So in Forza, once you kind of feel that limit of the traction, that's it. Like, you're just going to keep understeering and not, it's not going to do much. But here, you literally just have to turn more. So it's something to get used to. Oh, okay. I see this now. Okay, there we go. Now I can feel, oh, the little tire smoke in there. Makes sense, I guess. It's pink. Okay. This car's understeering so much. Or maybe I'm just like, I got to get used to the controls. Okay, this is so weird for drifting. Maybe it's not the best for a wheel. Where did all these cops come from? I feel like this is a thing with Need for Speed, is it's always just cops coming out of anywhere, but I guess that's the point of the game. I mean, it makes it more fun, I guess, but I hope it's not too much in, in this game. Pass the cops using the nitrous. Ooh, a little 718 in front of me, I like that. Oh, get on the other side. Oh. This is so weird for drifting because I want to like let it counter steer for me, but it's not. It just kind of keeps going where it goes. When I play with the wheel, I expect similar to like real car physics, but it's nothing like that at all. I don't know if I'm supposed to be beating them or I'm supposed to be just sticking with them. I don't know if this is like my crew or I'm actually racing them. Okay, there we go. That was a clean one, but it doesn't feel like I'm the one doing it. It feels like the game's just doing it for me. A little Fast and Furious scene right here. I love it. Okay. Oh, did I just see wings on the car? What the heck? Oh, this is going to be great for drifting right here. A little tail action. You almost hit the person. Oh my, okay. So let's check out the body kits we can toss on. I'm just really curious. Okay. Oh, so these look like, these are like need for speed body kits. They're not actual ones. Okay, so we got the Rocket Bunny one. That's nice. Wh what? This is nuts. This is like... Oh, it's convertible too? What the heck? That's okay. So this is like completely transforming the car. I actually really like this one here too. But even the factory one that they gave us was pretty cool. This is the map screen. Before you leave the garage, choose where you want to go set a route. Okay. You can open the map in the world anytime by pressing. Okay. This is a meetup where you go to race in events and cash. All the events available today are listed under the meetup. All the effects look hand drawn, which is interesting because it seems like with this approach, they're not going for like ultra realistic. They're just going for like funky 
just kind of fun, I guess. We'll see how it is as we play the game. It might get annoying. It might end up being a really cool feature that we would love to see in like other games, but definitely unique to this game for sure. I haven't really seen too many, too many other games doing it. A lot of color in this game too is what I'm noticing. It's like the trees are very vibrant, but it's so weird with a wheel. It's like you have to turn so much versus I feel like in other racing games, you just kind of turn to what the car can do versus here. I feel like, like I can just like completely turn the wheel and it, and it, I mean, it goes, but where am I even going? Okay. Little drift. See, it's weird because I want to floor it and drift, but that's not what happens. Okay, that's interesting, though, that we get the taillight effect even in the daytime. Doesn't make too much sense, but I guess it adds to the sense of speed. These cars are so much faster than me. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because, like, even in acceleration and handling, they seem to kind of get me. All right, we'll get seventh place here. See, I have to really turn the wheel a lot. Just to, and then it's like stuck to the left. That's so, okay, yeah, rewind me. Let me see if I can get the handling. So it seems like I really need to like turn or maybe get off the throttle. I don't understand. Oh, does this have the throttle drift? Okay, let me try this. So maybe I have to give it th like get on the throttle. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. So you have to release off the throttle, get back on the throttle for it to work. I'll just use the paddle shifters for this one. It's so weird, like the the force feedback. So we've got the cops in the race too. See like, oh, I'm so, okay. I don't think this is meant for a wheel necessarily, even though it works. Yeah, it seems like the little bit of like turning right here. Oh, it's, I don't think it's a linear steering. I think it's like pretty exponential in the way it works i wonder if see it's like i it's like nothing nothing and then boom it wants to drift having effects change what you see around your car when you're doing certain things like drifting colliding and using nitrous please note the tags you choose are applied to all of the cars you own okay so we can select like what we want here big sauce sound okay we had this in our previous need for speed game force induction oh i want that exposed all the way I want more fire more backfire tone okay sure put it up all the way events at night will often give you bigger payouts but they may get you more heat as well Heat carries over from the day, so you need to keep an eye on it and play your sessions carefully. When you return to the garage at night, your heat will be cleared. Okay, so, okay. Stuff that we're fairly used to from the previous game. So let's go ahead and try out this meet here. Cash needed. Oh, I need money to do it. Low risk, zero buy-in. Oh, but that's a reward 12K versus this is 6K. Yo, watch out for blue lights. Heat from earlier ain't died down yet. Imagine us on the evening news. Right, that would blow a gasket. This game was clearly made to be used with a gamepad and not an actual wheel because it's like you turn the wheel and nothing happens and then it's like understeering but it's not actually understeering it just feels like it's not actually turning that's it's weird like you, you'll feel it with your force feedback that like nothing's happening even though like it should be based off of what you're doing so i'm off the throttle like i can still play the game no problem let's see will i get a recharge i cannot do this anymore i have to move over to the gamepad because it's just so hard to control with the steering wheel like here i can move in and out of traffic just fine because it's like assuming what you're doing is playing the gamepad or playing the steering wheel but it's like using gamepad controls so like this little fine movement does nothing because it's thinking you're going to use you know move the joystick the whole way which is like a full turn with the wheel when in reality when you're turning the actual wheel you're not obviously turning it the full way maybe i'll figure it out in the future maybe they'll add some more support for it but right now it seems like it's not really there see look at this i can carry the drift and that makes me go a lot faster it seems like this is one of those games where you have to drift it to win it um and i can actually manu oh oh whoa so i tap the brake boom it drifts yeah much better with the gamepad you can't do that with the wheel fully so that's just like, that's something to know for sure if you're looking to play this game with the wheel. I'm actually enjoying this a lot more now that I'm playing with the gamepad, just because it's just more fluid, it works. You can actually control the drift. With the steering wheel, you're just, you're not gonna get that. Or at least be able to get second this time versus last place, that's a big difference. Cop chase for zooming, what? Okay, so now I have to lose the cops. 
because I guess they were on us during the race. And I guess, oh, at risk. So my money's at risk. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Nope. They got me. There. No, there's... This is... This is... Okay, I don't even know the map, so this is going to be rough. Use nitrous. But I wonder if I use nitrous, will they actually, like, speed up with me? Because I feel like that's what always happens. The faster you go, the faster they go. So, like, trying to escape them using nitrous doesn't typically do the trick. Oh, escaping. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. If I drive past this cop, will he get on me? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah. Cop chase started. Okay. Oh, what? Losing the cops? How am I losing them? Okay, nope. There they are. Why is my car not going? Why? I'm literally not driving anywhere. Busting? Okay, I don't know what's going on over here. Okay, now there's a wall. Oh, escaping? Okay. Oh, no. There they are. There they are. I'm literally just sliding. I can't even drive straight out of here. Oh, and now the wall's stuck? So I'm going to I'm stuck inside of here now. There's nothing I can do. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, well, I'm going to lose this cash then. Unless I can... Smash the cops, I guess. Busting. I have to somehow destroy these cops in here. Reinforcements. Oh, they're about to call more reinforcements. Heat's going to go up. So I have to somehow destroy this cop, and then I think I'll be able to get through because the other cop can't. Busting. No, 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 no. Okay, this is such a bad glitch. Being chased by three cops, but they're not going to be able to get in here, I don't think. Let me see if I can, like, get him. Busting, all right. I think we can do this. Because what will probably happen is I'll be able to just get him. There we go. He's done. Get behind this wall. And I don't know if they'll be able to see me. How do I turn the engine off? Oh, hold engine. All right. Hold B. Engine's off. Escaping. But I'm going to be stuck in here, I think. No, now they got in here. How did they get in? But I can't get out. That's that's an annoying glitch. No, what am I going to do? Escaping. Wait, did I escape? Oh, okay, now I'm in the event. Yeah, sure, I guess. Let's go for it. <laughs> this is a really buggy game from what I can tell. The wheel doesn't work too well. Stuff like that's happening. Uh, can't say I'm a fan of this game right off the bat, but hopefully it'll get fixed with updates and it'll get a little bit better. And I have the difficulty set to medium, so it can get higher than this. It also can get easier than this, but we've just set it to medium just for now to see how it is. There's stuff flying in the road. I mean, there's a lot of action going on here, but I mean, hopefully these cops don't get too annoying because, you know, I would hate to... Like, imagine I was, like, at high stakes. Like, I had a bunch of cash on me and I got stuck in that position with, like, a level 5. Like, that would have been really annoying. But, I mean... We made it out somehow, it just randomly, like, that's weird because I was assuming that the, the little count cooldown meter would have, you know, had to actually go into effect, but it just kind of, like, cut me into it. And I was like, okay, yeah, you escaped randomly, even though the cops are right there. Uh, a little weird bug, all right, I've already found in the game. I will say, though, it is a nice refreshment to not have, like, such an ultra-realistic game. Because I've been trying to play all these games, like Forza, where it's, like, pretty realistic in terms of graphics. Like, it's a definitely a beautiful game. But with this one, it like still is beautiful and it looks good, but it's just more arcadey, and that's really what Need for Speed is going for. And I think they did a good job with like the visuals in this game. I, I'll say I, I honestly was not a fan of these like visuals that they would add, like all these textures and all that. I thought it'd be kind of cheesy, but playing it here, it's actually it adds a little bit more fun to it, which I think is okay every once in a while. Okay, see it like drifts, and you don't control the drift. It feels like the game is controlling the drift for you. Which I can't say I like the most. I wish it was more actual, like you're controlling it rather than like it's controlling it for you. So that was interesting. I learned that the wheel is probably not the best for this game. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more Let's Play episodes and other things just like this, we'll have it on the channel. So please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.